Hey everyone, the Nerf Rival Pilot. Pretty neat little pistol. So let's take a peek inside to check the internals and then we're going to do a small conversion on it and I'm going to show you how much potential this thing got. I'm that old Nerf guy, welcome to Tag. Pretty much one of the most interesting reshell that Nerf has offered us, at least <laughs> this year because we're at the beginning of the year, but since a couple of years. For the one of you who follow my Instagram, you saw I did a little trick to it, and it was pretty impressive to see the FPS coming out of this thing. So today, we're going to take a peek inside, and I'm going to show you what I did to this pistol to make it a half dart sniper. Let's go on the table. So this little pilot shouldn't be too hard to open, assuming nothing is clipped, nothing is glued. Uh, let's unscrew this barrel, open the blaster, because I'm pretty sure we won't do much to the barrel, uh, besides what I'm going to show you after. But uh, let's take a look inside, I'm pretty sure that is a rather simplified uh, knockout. Let's look at it. To note that there is two screw hidden under the barrel here. So without removing this part first, you won't be able to separate the shell. We are pretty much in besides this little barrel which is under tension, which kind of surprised me when I open it. Nothing is out of place. This is really looking like a knockout. And inside, yeah this trigger works here this yeah okay this is cool this little o-ring this little o-ring seems a little deficient i mean it's very very thin and that the most leak i have with this blaster so i took this one which is slightly thicker on another nerf rival blaster hoping it is gonna fit in to fix this part of the blaster. Other than that, I don't see any reason why I should for now change the spring. By the way, uh, in my review, the FPS was about 85-ish. I had a problem and I didn't know this. My restrictor was stuck closed. I pushed on it because it was stuck and now it's okay. It's more in the 90, 92 range now. Uh, yeah, quite simple assembly, I guess. Yeah, lift right up. Okay, let's not mix them up, lose them or anything. Ooh, that tube is weird. We have a long, long, long space here. Is it supposed to? No. You see, we're losing some air in the stroke. That's wacky. That doesn't reflect on the performance. Not at all. I mean, yes, in Rival. No, when I did my test with Half Dart, which I'm going to show you, but that is weird. I did not expect that thing to be that way could we just insert another tube inside okay i'm gonna change that little o-ring and then we're gonna do that small conversion oops bumper yeah look that it look a little substantial on it Hopefully it's gonna stay there. Is this basically the same size? It came from a different blaster. Let me just put that back in place. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Honestly, we got a knockout. Uh, so let's see, more like a flex because you don't return the handle here. So this is really much like a flex and so i never opened the flex uh, per se i knew the internal were very much alike just about that tube inside with the small difference they are inside i'm not sure about the hole we are losing about this long of the course 
when we are priming and when we are firing because there is no pressure being built. Uh, that said, the performance are there. I'm gonna reclose everything and show you my little trick. All closed back. Now, little thing. This thing was the easiest blaster I had to convert to half dark. Like honestly. Let me explain. What you'll basically need for this modification is some electric tape and a piece of barrel to put inside. This is the one that came with the Pathfinder, this is the one that came with the Fire Phoenix Valkyrie. I have some other one, but those are pretty nice standard 16 by 13 millimeter diameter barrel. What I do is I take the electric tape, simple as that, and you do a ring near the breech where you load it so you can completely jam it, fit it in your barrel blaster to block any air out. Where was the need of the new o-ring that I put inside to seal a little more so I might get more than what I had before in performance. Now you just roll your tape like a couple layer, I mean a couple layer and it's gonna give you something like this. Something that you could do in 3D printing. There is also kit uh, on Bio Blaster which are for the Nerf Rival Fate and Nerf Rival Knockout which are already aluminium barrel with 3-4 uh, different o-ring inside. I am pretty sure they fit. For this one, I haven't done anything to this blaster, no spring, nothing, you just saw me. So I take this barrel, which should fit, by the way, because this is the same that I use in my picture on Instagram. And this thing, you kind of just need to fit it tight in there and be sure it just closes. And that's about it, okay. A uh, good thing with this blaster, if you don't want to prime it, you just want to open like I did, or if you want to deprime it, you can just press the trigger and deprime it. This is really cool that Nerf let us do that with their blaster. Now that this barrel is in, let me fire a few rounds to see how that thing fetch. Okay, we got a few dart. Chronograph is open. Let me load what we're gonna start with. An Adventure Force one. Uh, we had an error reading. 154.4. Okay, I had better, but still. Max Art. Well, those numbers are still very, very interesting. 175 on Bamboo 2.0, the rest is about 150. I had 165 on a cheaper dart uh, in my test, but yeah, that is not bad. I mean, without any other modification. Let me just grab one or two newer darts. One that are maybe less crushed a bit. Those were used. I normally don't shoot dart that are that worn. Try with newer dart. Hundred and fifty five. Hundred and seventy seven on bamboo two point oh. And on those AF knockoff. 156, yeah, 155 FPS average blaster, if you can even change the restrictor in it, remove it completely, that is gonna help, that might be the next thing, but yeah, that's about it, we saw the interior of the blaster, which is promising, except for the, tu for the tube, which is a little eh, because of the little hole inside, but for the rest, this blaster is awesome, you have a 155 FPS blaster half dart, easy to load, that's the main thing, it's quite quick to load, and it's open when you prime. That's good. 
So this blaster got good potential and open for a lot of mod, even a tube swap. That's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.